Hello, gorgeous. Okay, so this is Melanie here from Melanie B's Creative Studio. And what I have today is a Diamond Art Club diamond painting. It is called Marilyn Monroe, obviously. Um, if you aren't familiar with who Marilyn Monroe is, this may not interest you at all. The thing that I like best about this particular design was that she is a badass with tons of colors, a little bit of tattooing. And I'm not a big tattoo pierced person, of course, but she does look pretty damn cool. So um, I got this one. It was my first purchase ever from the Diamond Art Club. So I thought I'd give you a quick review on my experience with that um, and the quality of this particular piece. The colors are super vibrant on the um, with the options and everything that you have there available. Of course, the schematic is very clear, easy to read. Everything is so top notch. The adhesive has almost got this like um, I don't even know how to say this, like a bouncy texture to it. You can actually kind of move your pieces around if you get them in the wrong place or whatever. It's it's very high tack, uh, very nice quality adhesive. The canvas is velvety in texture. It is super high quality. And I hate to keep saying high quality, that is redundant, but this is an amazing quality piece. There I go again, set it again, it. Anyway, I won't go through all the drills and everything and what you get in this kit. I do like the fact that the little rubbery um, grip is on that pin, which seems so insignificant, but whatever. Okay, so throughout this video, I'm going to be showing you some of the actual painting that I did on this throughout the progression of this diamond piece. Now, I spent about six weeks on this piece Obviously, I have a full-time job. I have a new husband. I have three grandkids and four kids. So I am not sitting here for six weeks straight working on a diamond painting. But it probably took me, and I think I figured it out, approximately 45 to 50 hours. This is a 52 by 52 centimeter piece. So it's very large. That is equivalent to a 20.47 inch piece. Now you can see I have started working on Maryland. I have done the top section. I am one of those people when I diamond paint, I can do some white, but I got to work on some color. Now here you just see me kind of giving you the basics. I'm looking at the schematic. They actually include two of those little schematic mini pieces in there and I keep one in each of my boxes. I mark my um, little four pack. I have a 28 grid uh, package that I use. And then I mark them with each of the colors while I'm working on that painting. And then I take that little white thing, I shake it really well. When I shake it, and the more I shake that thing, the more it lines up perfectly. I do not use the wax. I use poster putty. I use a tiny, tiny bit in my, <clears throat> excuse me, in my drill pin. And I do not have to replace that hardly ever. Um, once in a while it gets a little goopy, a little gloppy, but it's no different than the wax. The wax just seems to come out. Now I have not tried the Diamond Art Club wax, so I'm not saying anything about how that particular wax works. I just know in past experience, the wax has not stayed in very well and I'm constantly refilling my drill pin with it. Um, okay, so this is not high speed enough for me. So I apologize that we're watching me put in one by one diamonds. That's kind of, gosh, that is um, difficult to watch. What I will tell you are, um, are a few things about the experience that I had with the Diamond Art Club. So this particular diamond painting right now re retails for $45.95, I believe, or $45.99. Uh, but I will tell you, in my opinion, the quality of this piece is so incredible that since I purchased Marilyn, I have purchased, I think, seven more. I know it's disgusting. I don't know. I've got a serious addiction. Um, but what the reason I'm willing to do that is, first of all, I hate to spend that kind of money on a hobby for each item. I mean, you know, that is very expensive for a diamond painting. But I'm also in the belief that you get what you pay for. Now, when I order from overseas, like many of us do, I am getting something that is Mm, subpar in quality and it takes me anywhere from three to six weeks to, a, to two months to receive that item. I know I'm paying eight to ten dollars for it in most cases but is it really worth that in the end? 
Well, Diamond Art Club does not have every single design that I would ever want. So I'm gonna probably shop elsewhere to find other things that I love. But in the meantime, I've been obsessed since I purchased this Maryland with the Diamond Art Club quality and the just the speed of shipping. So that is the next point that I want to bring to your attention. I have ordered on a, I think a Sunday and received my piece on Wednesday. I've ordered on a Wednesday night <clears throat> and received my shipment on a Saturday morning. So I don't know in relation to where they're shipping from and I thought it was Utah and I'm in South Carolina. So I don't know what the speed would be for you, but I'm just gonna tell you, I've never had faster shipping besides Prime from Amazon. So it is very impressive. Now, finally, we're to the point where I can show you my progress on Marilyn. I mean, is she not incredible? So from this point on, we're gonna be working on her face, her hair, and completing all the color on her lips and all that in the center section of her face. And I did do this part at about, um, I think it was about five times speed. I had to save the video and import it back in and save it like five times changing the speed. So this is kind of a super time lapse. And I love watching the progress of this and how quickly it comes together. I don't know about you, but it's like watching paint dry when I have to watch somebody do their diamond painting one piece at a time. Okay, so let's go back to some other things that I have um, have come to my attention since I started working on diamond paintings. My original diamond paintings, I've started about a year and maybe a little over a year ago working on them. And originally, of course, I ordered from Wish and I ordered from AliExpress. I've had good experiences. I've had horrendous experiences. Um, most of the bad experiences I've had have been relating to my paint by numbers. And we will get into that on another video. But I do want to tell you about this Marilyn. I found this exact design on Amazon originally. I had seen it on Diamond Art Club. I said, no way, Jose, am I paying 46 bucks for a diamond painting? I don't have that kind of money. So I went to Amazon, I found the same design, and I said, oh, yippee, I'm gonna get this one. I think she was like 15 to $20. I was so excited. And I received it, and I looked at her, and I was like, ew. So first of all, she was much smaller, which was fine, except that you lost so much of the detail by having a smaller, piece you could not read the sweet love tattoo on her body with the other one and there were no aurora borealis um, gemstones or drills and if you will if you notice all of the yellow are kind of the the ones right there on her hair um, in the top center those have the aurora borealis effect to it i'm going to do a little separate clip video of what an aurora borealis uh, drill is but in this particular situation the yellow is where there's like extra glitter added to the drill I know that has to take some kind of time like they have to go through some kind of major process to get that um, that glitter to stick to that that is just one of the things that I noticed so I immediately sent that one back and I ordered this one, and that was the first time I had ordered. I did use a coupon, and I believe that I had a 20% off um, coupon at the time where I did place my first order with Diamond Art Club. So that was very helpful to me. I would, you know, I would tell you that it is worth it to pay full price. I know that sounds ridiculous. I don't know your budget, but I know my budget and it's very tight and I would pay full price. The only problem is I can't afford to do so. So I'm always happy when they'll do a buy one, get one or a buy two, get one or, you know, 25% off or 20% off. Now, I did join the rewards club when I placed my order. So I've earned some free stuff, which is nice. So make sure you join the rewards club. I am no in no way, shape or form affiliated with Diamond Art Club. I'm just a really impressed customer and lastly i do have a link in the bottom that is a referral code so that if you want to try diamond art club then it will give you a 10 percent coupon for your purchase when you place the order but it also just kind of gives me some points i think in my rewards club membership which is nice because then eventually i might be able to get something for free uh, and I hope that you will think that is worth it since I'm bringing you this beautiful diamond painting today. All right, so let's see where we are with our progress. I am 
pretty much at the point, I think, where I'm done getting done with her face, her makeup, her lips. And you guys, that red in her lips was mm mm. I wish I had that red. I probably do in my lip sense. All right, here is our final Marilyn Monroe completed. That white took me forever because I get so bored working on the white. I love the color. So I would do groups of white by about three inches, you know, strip or whatever, about a three inch strip. <laughs> and then I'd go back to doing something in color because I'm so ADHD, I can't stay focused on the white that long. Uh, and this one definitely had a ton of it. All right, I'm hoping you guys are totally digging my Marilyn. Um, I am going to custom frame her because I am a custom framing manager for Michaels in my local store. And I am obsessed with custom framing because it is so incredible and it will keep this from ever turning yellow uh, with our UV glass and whatnot. So I'm taking it in there. When I do that, I will come back and show you my framed Marilyn. In the meantime, she's stunning, you guys. You have to go get this piece. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you are always in the loop on the latest creative ideas that I have for you. Uh, I don't want you to miss a thing. Thanks as always for watching and please come back and watch again soon.